today we are going to look at the Royal Mail Hybrid Mail Print Driver, an easy to use tool that adds print and post functionality to your PC. Documents need to be individual or combined letters in Word or PDF format that you want to print and post. In this example, we'll use a single document made up of five letters going to different recipients. When setting this up, make sure all of your addresses fall within a 70 by 40 mm blank area, 45 mm from the top edge and 13 mm from the left hand edge. At the end, we'll show you how to use a PDF, but let's have a look now at how you set up your mailing using a Word document. Before we begin, please make sure you have our hybrid mail print driver installed. This can be downloaded from our website at the address shown on screen. Follow the instructions on screen and install. Once the print driver is installed, it will be added to the list of printers you have available. Before printing to a job using print driver, please ensure that the display options on your PC are set to 100%. Otherwise, you might not see all the functions available. OK, so let's print and mail our document to print driver. Open the combined document and under print, make sure that print driver is selected. Hit print. The first time you use print driver, you'll need to log into your hybrid mail account. Check remember me to avoid having to repeat this every time. Once you're logged in, the print driver loads and takes you through the print and post setup step by step. Under Product, you have two options, A3 folded sheet or A4. We're going to use A4, so make sure it's checked. Above this is a drop down entitled Profile. At first launch, this will say Blank Mailing. But as you customise the regular options you use, there is the option to save profiles, which you can access here, and save time with subsequent mailings. Print Driver gives your mailing a default name under Mailing Name. You can change this if you wish. This will help you locate it later if need be. You can also add an optional description in the field below. The Delivery Services option below that is set on Standard Delivery. This ensures the lowest prices, but you have the option for your mailing to go first class if required. You can also choose Dot Post, Royal Mail Hybrid Mail's digital only solution, where your mailing gets sent to a secure online document hub. Here, mailings can be viewed by the recipients only, providing they have a Dot Post account. For now, Make sure Standard Delivery is selected and click Next. Here we have details of the document we are printing. You'll see the Document Name field contains the same name we called it earlier. Background allows us to attach a background, such as a letterhead, if required. The process of adding a background to our library is covered in the Hybrid Mail website workflow video. Our document already has the letterhead added. We can leave the print margin section as it is. This just ensures that our document fits the paper it's printed on. Click on Next. You can add additional documents to go out with the main letter at this stage. Click the Add Documents button below the header in the top menu. This allows you to add an existing document you may have saved to your library, or navigate to it on your PC or network. We'll concentrate on our main document for now, so click Back, then click Next. This section enables us to extract all our recipient's addresses from the combined document. On the left, the blue shaded area denotes places hybrid mail needs to add address information. You'll notice that our address falls safely within this area, which is ideal. 
The dark blue dotted line enables us to access and extract an address anywhere on the page. By default it surrounds the blue shaded address box area. But if your address isn't exactly in the right place, by redrawing the box over it you can accurately extract your addresses. Have a go at redrawing it. You'll see that when it completely surrounds our address, the extracted address appears in the window on the right. If we draw it elsewhere, no address or only a partial address gets extracted. Draw the dotted line back over the blue area and then click Advanced Options below the Extracted Address window. Here we see some useful options to help Hybrid Mail achieve the desired formatting of the output address. Now let's have a look at the Page Identifier Logic drop-down above the Extracted Address window. This enables us to identify the first page of a multi-page document to ensure that each recipient gets the correct amount of pages from the combined stream. In this case, it is simple. We have a fixed number of pages, one, going to five unique recipients. We'll go into the other options in a follow-up video, so for now we'll leave things as they are. Click Next. Notice the five addresses from the five individual letters in our combined document. Clicking on each reveals their formatting in the area below. This is exactly as it should be, so we'll click Next. We now move on to the final area in our setup, Print and Post. If you look at the Print options and the Dispatch options, they are fairly self-explanatory. Black and white simplex is the cheapest option, but colour, which costs a few pence more, is best suited for our mailed letter on headed paper, so we'll stick with that. The options next to Dispatch Date are As Soon As Possible, the default, or Select Date. This second option is very useful if we want to schedule and forget. A mailing and a follow-up can be planned in advance and executed while we are away if we wish. The final option on this page is under Envelope Preference. The default is Standard Envelopes. These will either be windowed or non-windowed envelopes, depending on what's available at the location of production. This is the cheapest option. The other option is Window Envelopes. Window Envelopes are available in C5, which will fold your letter in half or C4, which inserts your document unfolded. The option below envelopes deals with how the undeliverable mail is handled. The default is not managed. This means we will securely destroy any mail we cannot deliver, for whatever reason. Managed means we note the reason for non-deliverability against your hybrid mail account. Use Own Return Address is an option that applies to standard and custom options and will enable any undeliverable mail to get returned to the address you specify. This has to be a valid UK address. Additional charges will apply for handling returns in this way. For now, we'll leave this as standard envelopes, not managed, so click back and click View Proof. At this stage, you'll see an alert to remind you that by sending to proof, you are then prevented from editing your mailing further. If you notice errors on the proof, you'll need to cancel the mailing and start again. Click OK. At this stage, the hybrid mail dashboard pops up and you'll see your mailing processing. When it is ready, the icon will change and a tooltip will give the mailing's name, order ID and the message awaiting approval. Click on the icon and the dashboard displays details about our mailing. Under View Proof there are three virtual envelopes. Click on either to view a PDF of the letter that Hybrid Mail will send to that addressee. You have the option to save the proof. Click Save down the bottom. Or if you're happy with it, click the OK button next to it. Below View Proof is the Mailing Details section. On the right, details about the order and on the left, the cost of your mailing. 
Below this on the footer, there's a button letting you save the setup process of this mailing as a profile. If you think you may well do most of your mailings with these settings, it's worth clicking Save Profile, then giving it a name and pressing OK. If you now commence a new mailing, you'll remember that on the very first window under Mailing Options is the drop down Profile, which allows you to select the setting you just saved. This has all the same options checked to save you time. So now that everything is ready to go, press the Approve and Submit button bottom right and your combined letter is sent straight away to Royal Mail Hybrid Mail for printing and mailing out. Now let's have a look at the PDF workflow. We need to manually launch the print driver application. So to do this, we must go to the Windows Start menu and locate it. Click to start. Once the print driver has launched, a message will appear near the system tray, indicating the access point of the process. Open the system tray and double click the little hybrid mail icon. This launches the print driver dashboard, showing our active or completed mailings, if we have any. Now we need to simply drag the PDF we want to use into this window and after a few moments, the familiar dialog appears to take us through the steps, just as if we were using Word. From here on in, the workflow is identical to that described earlier in this video. We now hope you have an understanding of how the hybrid mail print driver works. If you have any issues setting up your mailing, please call Royal Mail Hybrid Mail Support on 0800 756 1045 during office hours which are 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday or email us at the address below. Thank you for watching and happy mailing.